Hi, in this video, I will explain how to fix merge conflicts. I'll be using GitHub and VS Code to help visualize the conflicts and how to fix them. But this could happen to anyone who uses Git and the solutions that will be shown in the video could be used as well. I'll start with showing two scenarios that could lead to merge conflicts. Then I will show how to fix them. For the first scenario of how merge conflicts can happen, I'll be using GitHub's pull requests. I created in advance two pull requests. One pull request is mine, in which I want to merge my branch into the main branch. The second one is my friend's pull request. They want to merge their branch into the main branch. Now, my friend and I had some differences in the same place of code or in the same function. In my branch, I want to set C to be 17. And my friend, they wanted to make C be equal to 9. Now, what will happen if we'll merge my friend's branch into main first? And then we can delete the branch. And then we'll go to my branch. Now, my friend merged their branch into the main branch. But now my branch has conflicts with what the main branch has now. The second scenario where merge conflicts can happen is on, even on your own local repository. I cloned the repository to my computer and open VS Code on it. Right now, I'm on my branch, branch, as you can see in the left. And now I want to sync the changes from the main branch into my branch. So I'll open a new terminal. I'll first go to the main branch, git checkout main, and I'll run git pull to make sure I'm up to date with the origin. Then I'll go back to my branch, git checkout my branch. And then I'll run git merge main. Then I run into a merge conflict because my branch was created from the main branch. Then the main branch had some changes that conflict with the changes I made on my branch. And now I'm trying to merge the main branch into my branch. Okay, let's move on to how to fix merge conflicts. To show how I fix the merge conflicts, added two merge conflicts to the original PR we saw in scenario number one. I'll go to pull request, then the PR that I had, and it has some conflicts. I can click on resolve conflicts to see what exactly the conflicts are. My branch wants to set C to 17, but the main branch has C to 9. My branch wants to set G to U, but the main branch has G to Tom. And my branch wants to set Q to 9, but the main branch has uh, Q to 83. These changes were made after I created my branch. And this is why there are conflicts. So I'll go to VS Code and I'll go to the main branch and I want to pull the latest changes first and just make sure that I'm up to date with the main branch. I'll hit git pull. I see that I have the latest changes, then I'll check out to my branch. Git check out my branch. Now I want to merge the main branch into my branch to resolve the conflicts. So on my branch, as you can see on the left, I'll run git merge main. Now we can see these conflicts and we can have some UI options or we can just do it manually. So for the first scenario or the first conflict, I want to accept my current change. I want to set C to 17. For the second function, I want to accept the incoming change. I want to set G to be equal to Tom. And for the last change, actually, I don't want any of these. So I can even delete this text and set Q to be 107. Then I can, uh, then I can save go to the uh, source control tab on the left, click on the plus and commit these changes. Now I can seek the changes to my branch or run git push origin my branch. Great. If I go back to GitHub now, let's go back to the pull request. We see that we resolved or fixed all of the merge conflicts and we can merge the pull request. And that's it. Thank you very much and see you next time.